Hi friend, it's Hunter from Interactive and in today's video we're going to take a look at the effect called Bend In. And what it does is it allows us to bend uh, objects inside Adobe After Effects by just using an effect. And so I'll show you how to use it to bend these trees. If you're learning After Effects then the best way to speed up your workflow is to learn the keyboard shortcuts and there's a lot of them. I've created a keyboard shortcut PDF that will show you all the hotkeys inside of After Effects. And depending on your workflow, you can pick the ones you would like to use. My personal favorite shortcut is the Command Alt Home shortcut, which will center the anchor point in the center of a text layer or a shape layer or any layer inside of After Effects. If you want to learn more shortcuts like this one, check the link in the description below to download your After Effects hotkey PDF. All right, back to the video. Just first of all, go and shy the layers that we don't need. And you can just see that by clicking this button here. And we'll just shy everything that's not a tree. Stars and the camp. And now once you've shied the layers, you can just hit the shy icon at the top. And that'll shy them all. So those layers are still there, they're just hidden so that they don't get in the way. Now I'm just going to click this little circle over here and just make this a solo object. So I can just focus on this tree here and we want to go and add the effect. So let's select the layer and go effect down to distort and go CC bend it. And that will add it the effect and you'll see a few things happen. You'll see these two dots here. This is our start and end points. And our end point is the top one. That's where our motion will bend. And the start one is the bottom one. That's where we want the motion to bend from. And so if we put the, the end at the top of the tree and we come over to our effect controls and go to the bend and we just slide this, you can see it bending. Now there is an issue to this, so if I come into my tree layers and go down under transform and I go and position this elsewhere, you can see that the tree hits a limit. So it starts to disappear. So what we need to do is add an expression to fix this. So what I'll do is come to the start and end and just alt click on both of those stopwatches. And then what we can do is add a two comp. And once we start typing it, we can just hit tab to apply that expression. And then we just want to put value. And so that's going to take into account of the position of that the shape is inside the composition and it will move the start and end values accordingly. So I can just copy this, control C, and then paste it in the other one, control V, and deselect it. Now we want to come to our composition viewer and just scroll out. And we just want to click on the CC bended effect. And we'll zoom in again and we'll move the bottom to the bottom here. And the end to the top there. Now I can zoom in and now you'll see that if we go to the position, I can move this anywhere I like and it won't disappear until I get outside the composition like so. Let's undo that, control Z. Now we wanna add some keyframes. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add quite a bit of a warp and I'll start it there. So I'll just hit the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Now I can come down to my layer down here Click on it and just hit U to show all keyframes. And then I want to come to uh, one and a half seconds. My frame rate is 24 seconds. So 12 frames is 24 frames per second. So 12 frames is halfway. And so what we can do then is just pull this back a little bit. And then I can select both of them and just right click them and easy ease them under keyframe assistant. You can also use F9. Now if we play this back, you'll see that we get this effect. 
but we have a small problem. We don't we want this to loop without us having to copy paste all these keyframes. So what we can do is add another expression. We'll just hold down Alt or Option on a Mac, hit the little stopwatch, and then we'll say loop out, loop out. We can just use our arrow keys to go down to that one and hit Tab to apply it. And then inside that loop out, what I want to do is put in quotations and then we want to use a ping pong. So we'll go down using our down arrow keys and just hit tab. Now I can deselect it and ping pong will bounce between these two keyframes. So if I play this, there we go. It's bouncing between the two keyframes. Another thing you might want to do is add some rotation to this. So if we go to the rotation value and then we hit the stopwatch, hit U on the keyboard to show those values so I can see the other keyframes. And then we just want to rotate it a little bit more. We'll easy ease this and we'll drag it halfway between and it just gives a little bit more of a warping effect you could also go and add a keyframe here and go the other way so if we went reverse so I select those two keyframes and time reverse them you can see now it really adds a warp what I'm going to do is remove those and I'm just going to leave the bandit function get rid of the keyframes on the rotation and we'll just leave the bandit like so now unsolo that and we can see it in action now Next, I would just want to take that bend it layer or the bender it effect, control C, select all my tree layers and control V, and that will paste them all with the expressions in place. And you can see everything is bending. Now the bender is working for those big trees, but not these small ones. So I have to go into the small tree, select the effect in the effect controls and move the starting value to the bottom of the tree for all those trees. We'll move it up like so and it will place it back in place. Select that bend it layer. Just move it back up into the top and now you can see all the trees are bending. Now what I would do is select all the layers with keyframes Hit U twice to show all those keyframes and then just offset them both like so so that they're running at all different times like this. And now what we can do is play that and all the trees are bending at different rates. All right, that's all for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. All right, bye.